Hi everybody. With all the news, important news that is occurring right now, it's easy to forget that we are also involved in one of the largest natural disasters that we've ever had in America, and that's the drought that's going on right now. This is horrific and unprecedented. It's been like 500 years, they're saying, since we've experienced any conditions like this. And it is bringing up a lot of things that are important to talk about. One, not only is this affecting the food and the farmers, but there used to be bills in place that would protect farmers if there was a disaster to mitigate the you know financial issues so they wouldn't become bankrupt. Well, a lot of those support systems closed as we've been trying to balance our budget and different programs have been shut down. Uh, the farmers getting help during a natural disaster, that's one of the things that has been let go. So they don't have any help. So not only are our farmers in dire need because their crops are not going to make it. In July they were hoping, wow, if, if the rain picks up then we might be okay. But at this point they are pretty much writing the crops off as being unsavable. So corn and soy seem to be really hugely hit, but we really have to look at what's going on with the cattle also because the grass is dying. There's no way to feed the cattle. So our farmers are being forced with do we feed the cattle or do we sell the cattle? So there's been a record number of cattle sales this year because of the drought and this is reminiscent actually during the 1930s and the Dust Bowl because the farmers back then faced the same dilemma. How do I feed these cattle? Cattle, and my only other option is to sell them, which there was nobody buying because nobody could feed the cattle. So what ended up happening was the government came in and, and killed all the cattle. Uh, I don't think the farmers really dug it too much to begin with, but in the end it saved their farms because they could not have fed these animals. So we're looking at that issue right now with the cattle. So that looks like rising cattle and beef prices in the future. Now, according to some of the USDA people, they're saying it should not affect our food prices because food prices depend more on energy. But we all see how people tend to gouge prices when there's a obvious supply and demand that's about to go on here. I mean, we, we have a loss of supply. We still have a demand. And so even though it really might not be correlating yet, we could see ourselves getting gouged by people taking advantage of it and rising prices and the prices are going up even though supposedly they're related to energy so I don't know in my economics class it was related to supply and demand and we're losing a bunch of crops so there you go I don't know about what the USDA is saying about that anyway we're also seeing a lot of issues worldwide, like the Asians just lost all these carp, thousands of carp, and in Germany, believe it or not, they're being overrun by mice. They've lost 50% of their harvest because of mice, and they just can't get rid of them, and they have this big issue going on. So we have worldwide food issues occurring right now, and so it just goes to reason that we're going to be seeing higher prices and scarcity. So I... Uh, just want to say the only reason we turn into alternative news is hopefully to get some kernel of wisdom that could help us in our own lives. And here's one. Go out and get some extra food. It looks like food prices are going up. And for those of us that are on a strained budget when it comes to groceries and food, if you're counting on places like the dollar store or more budget places to go get your food, you might just seem see, start to see rather, those places selling out and not having the same things because a lot of people will be turning to them for their resources. So get a heads jump on that. You want, don't want to be the last person that's like, oh my god, food prices are through the roof. I should have bought up a month ago. Here's your warning. Go grab some extra food. It is probably uh, just a smart thing to do at this point. Anyway, everybody, thanks for tuning in and thanks for listening. I'll link some stories below if you want to read some more about this. Okay, bye-bye.